Oi! Vishwagonagala. <laughs> Hi, hello, hello. It's five o'clock, everybody. It's five o'clock on this Saturday, the 9th of September, 2023. And uh, I've been having a really good day because I've been busy with content creation. Some of you guys may know that I do have a second channel where I transferred what I used to do on this channel to that channel. So if you go to all my other videos, you would see me educating people about YouTube. So now, because now I do court YouTube, I had to shift everything to the other channel. And I keep saying it. It's called Plants on Business. So if you are a content creator on YouTube or a content creator for that matter, because all algorithms uh, that are on social media, they work pretty much the same. So you can go there and find out how you can grow your own uh what do you call this thing um social media platform so yeah but me i focus on youtube because that's my favorite topic and it is something that i think is an alternative to unemployment to the youth that are unemployed so if you have a young person in your family that keeps asking you for money and they have a smartphone and then probably they have some kind of internet connection or maybe you can sponsor them with uh, Wi-Fi, not Wi-Fi, maybe with a data that's maybe, let's say, one gig or so, because they can actually uh, film and post two videos a week on that. And then they can build themselves a personal brand and become YouTubers themselves. There's so many things that people can do these days. Everything is content, by the way. Everything is content. So instead of having young people coming to you and say, hey, Manume, hey, brother, hey, what not, not, just send them to YouTube, send them to my channel, let them watch my channel, and then they will see how to create their own YouTube channel so that they can start making money in the next six months to a year, all right? And then uh, who knows, they might never have to look for a job again. Let me tell you something in case you did not know. I did cover some few things here on YouTube as to why it's important for people to watch our ads that's because we get paid when you see ads running along our videos so imagine if your brother or your sister or your uncle or somebody in the family that is unemployed two thousand rand is a lot of money for a lot of people especially if you are not going to use transportation to get to wherever and you are doing everything at home that's a lot of money you know what i'm trying to say here and of course the the growth of the channel is guaranteed as well provided that they are providing value whatever content they are putting out. So if they are providing value with whatever they're putting out on their channels, or within a year, they'll be making tens of thousands of rands. I'm just saying. Okay, so please send them there to Clantus on Business. That's where I teach about YouTube, the platform, YouTube, how to grow your channel, how to get views, I, all that stuff. All of it is there. So I've been busy the whole day. Uh, filming videos on that also how to make extra money on youtube as well there's a video on that particular topic right now because we are heading to october there is this thing called a, not a program what do you call it again what is it's like a trend of some sort where you create vlogs and we call them vlogtober uh that is in the month of october we put out just vlogs they are called vlogtober that helps with growing your channel in terms of uh, views and in terms of watch hour. These are the two things that YouTube pushes for views and watch time because that's how YouTube makes money out of these two things. All right. So uh, let me not bore you because you are not here for that. So the second thing that I also want to say, I noticed when I look, look at my analytics, I told you guys we get uh, a tool by YouTube where we can see everything that is happening with our channels. How our channels are performing in terms of everything that also includes how much money it's making so i realized that uh when i looked at the supers there's this thing called supers like your super thanks your super stickers and your super chats i noticed that there are eight people in the last two lives that have super chatted and also purchased super stickers but i will never got the report on my screen and then I'm feeling really, really bad because I need to say thank you to whoever super chatted my channel last week and super chatted my channel the other week as well as and purchased super stickers. I'm terribly sorry, guys. I did not get that report. However, my analytics are telling me that eight people paid 
One paid something like $25. The other one even paid $100. I did not see that. US, by the way, US. I know other, China, other countries do have uh, dollars. US dollars. I did not see that. I am so, so, so sorry. I apologize. I don't know what happened because when you super chat me or you super stick, uh, you purchase a super sticker, it needs to come from uh, my side. I, I can see it. So I can pin it and say, hey, whoever you are, thank you so much. And then you guys have seen it before how I do it. All right. So I apologize so very much. And I don't know who you are. I want to say thank you to all of you. Now let's get into the live today. I'm seeing there is 22 of us and I'm seeing the super lives. Super life, come on. <laughs> the um the, the the live chat is also starting to light up. I see Fezeka. Hello, Fezeka. How are you doing? I see Cynthia just saw the notification now. Hello, family. And then Humuto is in the house as well. Hi, hi to you too, Humuto. It's good to see you here. I highly appreciate you guys. So, guys, what do you want us to talk about? Please take over the live i will answer questions if you ask and while i'm busy with you guys answering asking questions i'll be also uh dealing with what happened this week with your boy clantes <laughs> that sounded so corny for some reason pam hi how are you doing pam Dicoliza, how are you doing more see how are you doing it's good to see you here as well Feel free to either come through. I'm going to send the link if you want to come through. Don't be afraid. I don't bite. Nobody's going to bite you. Let's have fun. Let's laugh. A lot happened in the Knockout and High Court this week. And that got me thinking, is this even funny? Because listen, listen. I saw some people who lack some sense of humor, but at the same time, I understood <laughs> I understood their point of view. Remember where, I think it was last week, uh, we were making fun of Baloi calling everybody. Somebody even said, we must not be surprised to see Ramaphosa on the stand. <laughs> Those were the clan members who said that. Clan members were saying, <laughs> y'all are full of very good humor and I love it. So like the next thing we'll see, Ramaphosa is going to be on the stand testifying about who killed Senso Mayua. Yes, it is a serious, serious, serious issue that we are dealing with. But we South Africans, you know, South Africans will always find, you know, the most painful event and try and, you know, loosen it up a little bit so that we can function and not have mental health issues because we are being played by the state in this matter. So of course we'll do some light some light lightning other things like say, hey, I got called. Me, I was saying that guys, which I think it was on Monday. I saw two missed calls. This is a true story. I saw two missed calls with the Pretoria uh code. And of course, and I was like, guys, I think Maloy was calling me to take the stand tomorrow. Can't I mean I will fall ill on Monday. <laughs> And then when I fell ill on Monday, guess what? The court adjourned 10 minutes into resuming. <laughs> and that was hilarious. <laughs> that was so funny. So now we were busy laughing and saying, and then of course, then you're going to have those that are going to come. And uh, I don't know what, I don't know, honestly speaking, but I understood their point of view. In as much as we had our own point of view that we are just lightening up the situation but they also have their right to say whatever it is they wanted to say they say we're being heartless uh we're being insensitive towards the mayiwas but baloi is calling i think at this point in time he has already lined up the entire sbs <laughs> he's lined up the sbs and the case in point right now it's even the guy that is on the stand right now Ooh, oh my gosh he's a mess Let's start with him before we get to Mutele. <laughs> this poor guy, 12 years a constable. If I understand what a constable is, that is entry level into policing. Correct me if I'm wrong, please. Correct me if I'm wrong. 
and then listen to my theory as to why he's on the stand. This man has been a police constable for 12 years. And in the 12 years he's been a constable, he is a visibility policing officer. Meaning that when you are freshly from police academy, you go do visibility policing. That's what I understand this to be. Now, he takes the stand and drops a couple of bombshells on himself, his associations with thugs. Not only these people are thugs, but they are in cabbies. Like, and then he uses the word when he was shouting at Guabani that you are using, are you giving out guns or something about guns? And then for me, I picked up the word again. And then I'm like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's go back to your occupation. You've been a police officer, constable, police constable for 12 years. What do your superiors know about you that they should have fired, fired you for but withholding any promotions that you're supposed to get? Because I think if there is any journalist out there that's listening to this live, please, I beg, I beg. Do your, uh, your, your, your due diligence on this one. Find out how many other constables that he started with back then that are promoted. Because at this point, I would assume he would be a detective or a colonel or even a captain at this point in his career. How many people that he started with in the same, what do you call this, graduate class that are far advanced in their career in police? by him and then find out why is he not promotable because as far as i understand promotions and considerations of promotions happen after three years i get with some other companies after five years but i think in government after three years then you'll be considered for promotion why he is still a police constable do they know something that we don't and his associations with thugs because this doesn't make sense to me i get it you cannot disassociate yourself from your blood uh, guabani is his nephew his brother's son we get that but what about you <laughs> you are writing out on your neighbor you are writing out on uh accused number five four three and two but you're not writing out on your uh what do you call this on your blood because that's blood, you cannot throw them in uh, under the bus. The law is the law, irrespective of who your, your relatives are. If your relative is a president and he has shot and killed somebody, he needs to come, be arrested, prosecuted, and convicted. So what's the difference with this one? So I feel like, in my own suspicions, that his superiors know something. They know something. Now, in order, and I think whoever was doing doing this case looked for a particular police officer that may have some sort of association or linkage with the five that he can pin and point and say, these are the people. On the 26th of October 2014, I was at work. I got called by my nephew, said, let's hang out. I drove with my other cousin, Marco Sonke, and we went to Fosloras Basutu Hostel. Is it Sutu Hostel? And then uh, while we were busy having uh, juice, he calls it, while we were busy having juice, uh, so-and-so walked in and with guns in their hands. They went into the bedroom. You know that whole story that he testified? Who wanted him to tell this story in exchange for what? In exchange for what? Is he in some kind of legal trouble himself? And then he's testifying so that this legal trouble goes away, or he is testifying against the five and linking them because already the police knows that he hangs out with thugs. We also know, we also we've heard this story so many times about police totsies. Police officers who hire criminals in their uniform, police totsies who hire out their, their service pistols. So what do they know that we don't know that they made him to sit on the stand and just so if you're listening to him closely, if you're listening to him closely, this man 
has a memory of something just happened last week or at most six months ago the way his memory is so vivid it's scary no way if he's that said if my mind serves me correctly maybe he said it three times since he took the stand while all the other police officers who were actually present at the murder scene will say hey it's been a long time hey i don't remember which we can forgive that because a human mind lapses over time yeah not, no he's why he's still like on point he still remembers every single detail that happened on the 26th of uh, october 2014 in in, in uh in Sutu hostel he even remembers the color of the t-shirts he even remembers the colors of the hoodies that uh accused number two changed uh from in into i'm like he even remembers that the revolver did not have bullets like come on guys i know sometimes my mind does go on an overdrive when i'm rubbing my two iqs and then I, I come up with these things and i'm asking myself but this does not make sense this does not make sense please come through if you want to talk to me <laughs> please i wanted to, i'll put another uh, link for you to click on so that we can talk tell me your own suspicions guys let me know what are you suspecting what, what are you suspecting What's going on with this particular witness? <laughs> and then the other thing that I was asking was in Monday when they um when Baloy snuck this affidavit, the one now that is questionable. Its originality is being questionable. You cannot tell me that just a month and a half ago you wrote in a, 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 an affidavit from your handwritten notes on the 31st in centurion that's what he said in centurion <laughs> now you come to court and suddenly your notes are in case and then when last were you in case and then since you've been under protection are, are we asking these questions guys or it's just me who's asking these questions because i can tell you what my suspicion is my suspicion is that Baloy did not see this one coming where miss is going to where not this miss it's the it's the witness himself who test was testifying in his evidence in chief and he mentioned something about original notes and not this statement because it's confused i don't know I, I did not hear that part but now i know that something like that happened because by um everything the said i cannot cross-examine this witness without first the original notes are submitted i would like to have a look at those notes and this is when all hell broke loose. I saw Advocate Baloy looking almost faint, almost faint and irritated at the witness for saying the things that he had said. And the other thing that I also found interesting while I was watching the, the what do you call this, um, the replay, I think it was Advocate Steve Ramasipili, Ramusipili, who wanted to know if he knows it's against the law not to have his gun with him and he was quoting or citing a uh, what do you call this a um a piece of law stood up baloy and then he invoked section 35 of the constitution of the republic of south africa and said he has the right to remain silent <laughs> so that he does not incriminate himself okay cool i accept that as well it is his right to remain silent but advocate baloy were you paying attention when you you would uh, when he was submitting his evidence in chief you were questioning him and then he was implicating himself in so many so many stuff that i would have thought he would have said can i not answer that because it would directly implicate him <laughs> by the time advocate ramos was asking what he was asking it was too late we already know that he's hanging out with thugs. We already know from his own mouth that when he arrived at Sutu Hostel in Fosloras, he took his service pistol and put it in Guabani's room. Is that allowed by law? No. That is, I don't know, maybe Advocate Bonoy went to sleep and then he reflected on the day and he was like, I just gave ammunition to the defense. The first thing that I'm going to do in the morning, if they go anywhere near this gun, 
I'm just going to invoke Section 35 of the Constitution. And so he did. And I was like, hey, he got you. He got you. I must say, he got the defense because he disarmed them. Because I also had so many questions that I was hoping the defense will ask around this gun. How is it? to go to a hangout with Amachita with your uh actually I'm back the reason why I'm having uh maybe possibly having bad connection is because I just came back from load shedding thank goodness it was only two hours I was so worried because they switched off at two I thought oh my goodness they're gonna switch on at six but I uh, know they switched on at four right on the dot, and I was so happy. And I thought, okay, cool. That means we can go live. Anyways, let me read the uh, the live chat. We'll get back to what my thoughts are as to this Mr. Zungu person. He finished me together with Baloy. <laughs> and I still say, you might get a call. You might get a call. Civilians may get a call from this guy because at this point, he is shooting in the dark. He's hoping for something. Okay, let's go all the way up. Um, no, 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 no. Where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Okay, let's see. Modiahi. Hi, Kansas. Hi, Modiahi. I'm just going to say Mukwena, right? Because I think that's the easiest for me. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Uh, Tandy Hecklan. Hi, Tandy. How are you doing? It's good to see you. Oh, Memphis. Yeah. You've been here before. No, you have not, Maeve, right? Maeve03, it's good to see you. How are you doing? Miss Letty, he, uh, hey, members of the clan. Hey, Letty, how are you doing? It's good to see you. Komoto is laughing, but Loy will call. I got two missed calls with the uh, Pretoria code. <laughs> uh, Slukumalo, hi, clan. Hi, how are you doing, Sluk? Good to see you here as well. Dikoliza, you will be getting summons <laughs> the clan if you miss the <laughs> maybe even speed. Yeah, I will get a speed. I'm <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I felt sick. You guys know I felt sick, so I can be excused. What's your excuse? Why you didn't answer the call? <laughs> Yoni Sabaladi, hi, hi, it's good to see you here. Maeve as well. Uh came through again. Uh, hi, uh uh he is staying at one po um at one position oh he's staying in one position because he's still busy <laughs> he's still busy snitching <laughs> so he's getting punished to, to remain a constable because he's busy snitching <laughs> okay i get you uh Tikaleo say he just exposed himself i wonder what did the Geninde, Geninde, etc his bosses say when he was reporting that he gave the nephew state gun. He went there driving state car. Oh, it was a state car. Ooh. He even misplaced the car keys. Yeah, that part as well kind of scared me because I was thinking, okay, I understand the different scenarios that could have happened. He arrives, he gives his uh, gun and car keys to his, um, to his nephew. But probably the nephew put the, the car keys elsewhere and somebody, when they left, they, they lifted the jacket and left with it. I don't know. But if he's saying that it is this three that killed Senzo Beiwa, what vehicle were they using going there? And the 9 millimeter, why did he open and check it? Because he only checked the revolver, according to his testimony. Unless I heard him incorrectly. Please correct me there. <laughs> Tandy says he is a dirty cop, maybe. If you follow properly, you may find out he's been abusing system. You may find he has a lot of complaints. There's a chance because it makes no sense that after 12 years, he is still a police constable. It makes no sense. Uh, Ticoreza says evening, uh, even, even giving non-saps people lift in the state vehicle well, that has already been established by the other ones before. What is his name? Musia. We saw him in his entry this month. He was going here 46 kilometers, 61 kilometers in East Rand. Hi, Buffett. 
probably some of these trips he was buying groceries and picking up his school his kids from school with state vehicle imagine five people five people he was with Life with Alice. Hi, how are you doing, Alice? My Alice, how are you doing? Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for being here. Hello, I'm not late, Kakul. No, not at all. No, in fact, you are quite early because the first, I think, 10 minutes, I was just talking about you two. Um, Tandy. Tandy says, I think he's fired. He doesn't have anything to lose because a normal person would not sing like a canary. Like the, the, the Canary song. I don't know because you know the the Labor Relations Act is not quite easy to uh, to fire um, people in this country, especially those that are working in government. With all these unions that they have, Pop Crew will have a fit. Will have a fit because they will ask for investigations, and if investigations lead to the fact that it's not him who is careless, it's been his management and all of that, he's not going to lose the job. Instead, there will be disciplinary commission of some sort, and then uh, he it goes away. But if he successfully pins these five accused, and then they actually get convicted because of him, then he will get a promotion. <laughs> Welcome to South Africa. <laughs> I know we're South Africans, but have we welcomed ourselves to our own country? <laughs> We are a joke, I promise you. <laughs> Edwin. <laughs> Edwin, please take note as that it takes about 11 years to be promoted from a constable rank in the subs unless you apply for an external post when you have relevant qualifications. Really? I didn't. Is it? Why so long? Edwin, please educate me. Why does it take so long? Eight, 11 years earning 9,000 rand a month? What about inflation and all these nonsense that happen in our economy? That's unfair to these people. No, 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 no. No wonder they are corrupt. A lot of them. Not some, a lot of them. Oh, oh, wow, 11 years. That's crazy. That's insane. Nicolas uh, is talking to Tandy. I don't think they will fire him now. They are still using him. I agree. After the court find him not credible, they will fire him, uh, fire him, charge him with the things he said in court. Can he be charged with the things that he said in court? Or can he be investigated for the things he said in court? I'm just wondering. <laughs> uh, Fezika says, hey, this Zungu, Uli Huza, Uli Huza, Uli Huza, In Zulu, we say we <laughs> Guys, this is all alleged. This is our opinions. We are not saying it's a fact. We don't know him. He doesn't know us. We're not saying this is a fact. We are just voicing our opinions about what we are witnessing on the stand. So I'm just going to use the words allegedly, especially when it comes to him. But what we say to the Zulu, that we okay? But we're not saying he is. Just the description that I'm giving of Iki, what a ginsa is. Ufuna uyo kuvale lo sheme. No, 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 no. I can't trust him. <laughs> There's another question that I want to ask, guys, because I know, I know the question that I'm about to ask. Okay, maybe let me ask it now. Why is it that every time Baloy brings a witness on the stand, we don't believe them? <laughs> Please let me know your own in your own words. Why don't you believe in any witness that Baloy is bringing on the stand? I'll start. <laughs> I don't believe any of these witnesses. And then I'm answering some few people who are misunderstanding my videos. I don't have hate for Baloy. I don't know him for me to hate him. I don't know the witnesses. And therefore, it makes no sense for me to hate them. However, I've been following the case. Let's go back to the crime scene on the 26th of October, 2014. Sensor gets shot. He was sitting with his friends. Four hours later, when he got shot and he died in the house, I still believe they call for help. 
Then they load him into the vehicle. Four hours he had died to the hospital. Should I go on? So now you tell me, now that we have all this information, and now we also know that two major investigators that were on the scene may possibly have planted evidence in the crime scene. Why should I believe anybody that takes the stand and points at the five people? Even if, let's say, let's say hypothetically, the five are indeed, are indeed guilty or were involved in the killing of Senzo Meiwa. How then do we pin this on them after hearing all that uh, evidence from Musia as well as Utobek? Where do we move from there and then shift everything to the five people that sit in the dock right now? How do we do that? Therefore, you cannot ask me to believe anybody that, um, what is the, that Advocate Baloy is going to put on the stand. Because what is it different? They are going to say that all the other cops have already said that all the other cops have already admitted to yo ben libele, yo ben katele, yo I did not think, yo I was guessing, like guesswork at a crime scene. No, that that that, that to me, <laughs> I'm sorry. That is why I don't believe a word of any of Baloy's witnesses when it unless they are telling the truth. Unless they are telling the truth, and let's go to Buteles. We'll come back to Zoom. We'll circle back to Zoom. Let's go to Buteles. Buteles, in the beginning, he was lying. That much I can tell you. Buteles was lying in the beginning of his evidence in chief. He changed his tune. But the judge says, the judge says, it's because accused number two made a gesture to the witness Ubutelezi that made him change his tune. But we know that it was not uh, accused number two because accused number two, in fact, all these witnesses, these accused, we've seen them. Whenever they communicate, they communicate with hands, they communicate with heads and things of that nature. But I will also be honest about something that accused number five did because I also did see him. He may, I may not have seen his, um, what do you call this? His, uh, his the signs that he was making towards the uh, towards the witness Uzu. However, if you can even go to Amaclips, you can go to the uh, to the SABC re uh, replay. You will see accused number five tinting his head and like what do you call this? Almost squinting his eyes. Usually, amongst the Zulu people, I don't know about other cultures how you guys do it. If I'm threatening you without threatening you. You will see it in my eyes and you will also see it with my head. I will look at you something like this. Or I will throw my head backwards and I will look at you sitting big boy and we'll see. Like hey, when, when, that, that's basically what you're saying. You're, when, that's a bamba that, that That's what accused number five was doing. And then I remember even before this entire expose by the, by the state is that accused number five made some gestures. I saw it already. I was like, I, there was a point where I was like, hey, accused number five, you might jeopardize this case. Can you sit up straight? Because we know him to sit up straight and his head is always straight and he always like wonders, I, I don't know what's on the roof of that high court. Maybe it's got some beautiful, uh, what do you call these things, designs. I don't know. I Please, can somebody tell us what, <laughs> what's on the roof of that? Because he's always looking up there. <laughs> But this time around, when Zungu was on the stand, he was looking at him in a threatening gesture. I agree on that one. However, I do disagree on when, uh, what's his name, when Butelezi was on the stand, because accused number two, he, he was sitting face, like, uh, almost like uh, sledging over, and then he was looking at him with interest. Unless the judge thinks looking at somebody with interest, like, Listening attentively is a threat of some sort. And he says, yeah, that is why Mutelezi changed his, uh, his statement. And I was like, judge, no, no, behave yourself, sir. So far, I have been defending him. <laughs> I'll admit, I will admit when I've been wrong. I think the judge is overreaching, especially on Friday. Yesterday, he did an obvious overreaching when Zungu when Zungu 
uh, affidavit became a mess. And then it was like, you are the author. You are the author. And all of this happened there in your head. And I'm like, no, judge, you are leading the witness into answering for acceptance so that you can admit this crappy statement. And I'm so happy that everything in this group is crowded. And he was like, hey, mm -mm, the originals lie. Now I'm also asking the question, are we going to see originals or are we going to be seeing things that today they were busy with papers flying all over in the air and writing these little pieces of paper because we need a scientist there. On Monday, can we have an independent scientist or an independent scientist who know about, uh, I keep forgetting this word. You know, when you write, you basically can tell this ink how old it is on the paper and the piece of paper itself, how old it is from pen to paper. You can tell, you can tell how, whether it's few days old, a week old, months old, years old. And we are looking for papers that he's been writing since 20, uh, 2014, because that's what he says. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. I'm going to question the originality of those pieces of paper, if indeed they are brought to court on Monday. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There's no going to KZN here. Unless somebody was with them <laughs> and reported that, ah, oh, no, I was following them. <laughs> but we know that he's got a slew of army with him, so you might be in danger if they notice that they're being followed by you. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> Let's go to you with the live chat. The live chat, this is Lindy, where I sit all live. What baffles me is at his level, at this level, uh, being a constable, he communicated with the general, understanding hierarchy. Here's the protocol, hey? Understanding hierarchy of the police force, the general is way far above. That's like close to the president. The constable to have a direct communication. Yep, I, I picked that up too. And I was like, wait a minute, did he say general? How a constable jumps all these ranks and straight to the general? I know this is not right. Amelia from Namibia. How are you doing, Amelia? Good to see you here. Ah, here's a stranger to our channel. PLKSK. You changed your name. I can I can tell it's you from a mile away. Why why haven't you abandoned us? Hmm? For 10 months. Why have you abandoned us? <laughs> Sorry to offend some. But I really feel Guabani is that midget friend that always drank, uh, drank and talking to everyone. Jeez, let me accept Tandy into the live chat. <laughs> Hi, Tandy. Hi, Glenn. How are you doing? I'm all right, and you? Very well. Thank you so much for coming through. What's on your mind? Yeah. I see no one's coming in. I said, let me come and say something. Thank you for saving me. <laughs> and it seems like there's no load shading at the moment. I just came um, out of one. Oh, really? Okay, where I am, there's no load shading. Never oh, mind. Okay. Um, okay. Oh, dear. Where to start with this uh, Zungu? <laughs> Zungu, Zungu, oh, Zungu. Start anywhere, middle, top, bottom. <laughs> oh, that Zoom is uh, something else. Can uh, I don't understand mm -hmm. anything is saying it. And uh, to tell you the truth, I think maybe the statement was wrote a few weeks ago, not a few months ago. Mm -hmm. Because uh, I think they need to bring expert and check on the writing first. Yes, yes. Even what is going to bring, they have to have expert of checking the writings. Yes, because it I seems this, this thing. Mm -mm. If you're writing a statement, it has mm. to be signed by the police. Yes, we need to see a stamp there, and we see the papers of the police station. But mm. his but, own, mm. and I don't understand when he's writing a statement, it's been typed straight away, right. <laughs> that I don't get it because I've seen people uh, they do statement on the papers first, and then exactly. it will be typed later. Exactly. And so this of his is everything is just a 
mash mesh. Hey, People, I they should. Father. Yes, I miss Masala. And Zungo, I think, is lying. He knows them, but he said he knows them. They know him very well. Yep. Um, yep. They used to meet him, Akaya. And, yep. and then after that, they, they accused. They said they don't know him. Yeah. <laughs> And well, so, the accused, they, I think the accused made a mistake there in denying knowing him because I do believe that they know him. But the question that I'm asking, what business does he have with them? And what call out that? did they have? And I don't think what his name is it, the, 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 the other guy who, who's a, no, no, not to tell us, not the accused, the one, his nephew, his nephew, his nephew. You Kwaban. know he's a dealer, a Kwaba, Kwabanda. He's a dealer. Yeah. This is a dealer. He's the one mm. who's giving. He's giving out the. He's a distributor. Yeah, that's of what machines. I picked up. Yeah. Yeah, he's a distribution, and he said to him, "Oh, are you still having this? I thought you get rid of it." I thought that the eight was lost. Yeah, how will they? He say that as a police, you know, right. this person doesn't have a license, right? Why, you know, you, tomorrow goes um, oh, on Monday, you know, they're going to they're gonna roast him. But then now they the evoked him. section 35. Oh, you know, I'm telling you, Baloy is going to stick on section 35. We're gonna get nothing out of this witness. No comment. Especially, yeah, especially revol re, uh, uh, revolving around these guns, the license of the guns. He's gonna plea the thirty fifth. Oh, this guy is just something. And uh, you know when somebody's lying through his teeth, is yeah. it's just lying through his teeth that one, and yeah. he doesn't have a mm, mm, mm. He just straight, straight talk, straight talk. <laughs> And somebody's but, uh, like, uh, read everything yesterday. Yeah, like everything happened just last week. The way, and another thing, I don't know if you picked up, he is also regurgitating everything that has happened in court that far. Mm. I don't know if you, I don't know if you picked that up. Now, yes, that means, that means he's been watching this trial, he's been taking notes. These are the things that I'm going to say when it's my turn to take the stand. Because mm. mm. now in, in, this thing is not even milky anymore. It's murky. It is. What, what is your suspicion about the uh, this originals being going to some being going to be picked up in KZN? There's nothing to pick it up in KZN. This person mm. he wrote this thing few 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 few, few weeks ago. Yeah. And soon they see the case is going down. <laughs> and then right. they made it down a few months ago. Tandy. Tandy. And the evidence is clear. It happened it's on it. Monday. Monday, yes. the court adjourned early because Baloy brought a statement that I think it was cooked overnight. It was cooked overnight. It's true. <laughs> So now where is this this original going? Oh my goodness, come on. This doesn't people. make no sense at all. Baloyi doesn't want to lose. And Baloyi should be arrested to end of this case. Because it's involved in this mishmash of bringing nonsense people. We need really people there. Yeah. We need people there we're in the house. Exactly. And exactly. he doesn't want with the and does it bank uh bank statement how oh. we know that, that bank statement is going to be has been being done underground there because somebody the reminded me somebody reminded me tandy in the comment section of yesterday's video i can't remember who it was they said that why is baloy baloy promised to bring the statements on thursday yes why that i don't also don't understand the difference why they keep forgetting things because these statements are important. We want to see them. <laughs> Just keep working on it. And right. Why it. Why I don't also don't understand the difference. Why they keep forgetting things? Because these statements uh, okay, are important. Brian. Just keep working on it. Brian. 
Okay, I'm muted. Can you hear? Can you hear? You mute I... him. Yeah, I muted him. Yeah. Okay, let me see. Are you all right now, Brian? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I was just okay, setting okay. up my studio too. I was just setting okay, up my okay. studio too. <laughs> okay, okay, cool. So uh, let's the state this this let's continue to listen to Tony okay. and I'll come to you. Yeah, yeah, I'll come to you. You can just stay here yeah. for a second. Yeah. They're just cooking up each and everything. He's just trying to put things together, but Loy is not working. He tries so means. And this guy, I don't know, how could you put your nephew under the bus? <laughs> so now you have to come on the stand. <laughs> now you have to come on the stand and tell us the story. Uh, PLK says that he's a midget. Okay, not, not, nothing wrong with being a midget, but he's apologizing that if somebody gets offended, this is a midget guy who always drinks and talks everything. Jeez, I just laugh at it. I just laugh at it too. That's what. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hear what Brian has to say. <laughs> Guys, like on Tandy, let's hear what Brian has to say. Yeah. Hi Brian, how are you doing? I'm good and you guys. No, uh, no thank you so much. <laughs> I'd say like those guys are are not innocent in their yeah. own case. In their own case. Right. Not the right. sense of my your case. Right. Yes. Right. Do you understand? So I think like probably like they took a plea deal, but then like when they got into the stand, it turned out mm. to be something else. Right. So like that's why like they forever acting up when people come and testify. Right. That's why they, they are forever acting up. And now the state can't can't let those guys go home because the state has to pay. Right. Mm. Like their their defendants won't just just take a, a normal plea deal. Mm. Like, okay, we're sorry. We're going to be lenient on you, on your sentences, blah, blah, blah. It's been how many years, guys? Too long. Exactly. So how much are they going to get paid? Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, so... Yeah. The state is trying very hard. Best believe me. Mm. Mm. And the defendants, like, they don't really care much about the state because everything now is all about uh, what is called. Uh, <laughs> help me, help me. <laughs> yeah. <They> are... <laughs> we don't know their names. Maybe you know. No, better. like. It's 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 all it's all about their status. Let me just put oh, use okay, that one. Okay. Yeah, right. that like okay, if I'm gonna let everything slip, the whole world has been watching me for nine years. What are you <laughs> meaning? The, the witnesses, you're talking about the witnesses. No, I'm not talking about the witnesses, like the defendants. Oh, the accused. No, but the attorneys, let me just put it that way then. Like your 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 mshololo. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, so like their status, it's on the line, guys. Ah. So they can't take any plea deal. Yeah. Okay, let's go back to Tandy then. Okay, Tandy. No, no, I, I, I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. But anyways, just to, from what I understand with the defense, the defense is yeah. doing what they're supposed to do anyways. So they shouldn't care about anything. They don't even really care about their own clients. What they care about is registering is that they do cases and they win the cases and then build a reputation. Because this case gives them yeah. a perfect, Excuse, excuse perfect me to catch you. That was yeah. the word I was looking for, reputation. <laughs> <laughs> I love my clan members. <laughs> I was looking for that word. Yeah. Okay, no, go on. Yeah. Sorry. 
yeah, this is a great opportunity to build their profile, especially when they win this case. A lot of us, if we are in trouble, we'll go for Michelle Lola because we know she's a cutthroat uh, defense yeah. lawyer. So it's a good, it's good for them. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have something else to say, Tandy? And I will invite more people if they will click on the link if you want to come through and uh, voice your opinion. You know, there are some people who I don't understand some people are they how they think. You know, they would listen to a video and then they'll make a conclusion that why you guys are talking as if we know we're not experts. We know we're not lawyers. We've said this so many times. Why you keep coming back and then if you didn't like what you're saying, why did you even watch the whole video? I don't get that part. Social media has been in our lives for the past 14 years. You're telling me still, you don't know to scroll? <laughs> Uh, but then, like, it has been that way. I know, but then you, you, it's for well, me. It's, it's, for me, it's exposing yourself on mm. a global platform like YouTube that you don't think beyond your nose. Like, if I didn't like something, scroll. Move on. Like move. you move, yeah. Yeah. That's what I believe in. Like, if you are not happy, if you are not happy with something, just move, move away. Away. That's it. You don't have to make don't a comment. Negative. Don't bring negative in the house. You know, honestly speaking. But now you say, for me, I have this curse. I'm a cancer. So cancers, we absorb things. <laughs> and, then, and once we absorb things, we want to talk about it. Otherwise, we're going to cry. <laughs> no, like, the thing is, like, we we are living in a in a country that's, that's a mess. That's a mess. And, like, if everyone comes with their problems here. Yeah. yeah. Do you understand? Like they come with their problems in every social network. Yeah. To tell you the truth. When everyone I'm comes with their problems. Sorry, yeah. sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah, everyone comes with their negative thoughts, with their problems into social networks. Yeah. Like yeah. social net okay Tandy, yeah. Social network to me, it relieves every stress. Wet yeah. breath, and because I laugh, you know, Atlantis the way he laughs, and then he makes me laugh. And so, there's a lot of people there, they say a lot. I look at them, I said, mm, mm. Before this life, I used to go to Facebook, Facebook, right. I'll be eating everyone's comments, and then I'll be laughing. Yeah, and I'm not commenting bad of anything because this somebody created this thing, the right. person, so many hours for this to entertain. Yeah. Yeah, and so yeah. I am to say negative things to that person. Try yourself. Try yeah. yourself. Then you see yeah. how it would work for you. Yeah, and then when you get negative comments, we want to see how you react. How will you react? Exactly. Yeah. Like, most people, like, that's what they look forward to. Like, mm. okay, I can hear your view. Yeah, I can hear your view. But then, like, nah, let me just pull a quick one on you. <laughs> Let's see how you're going to react. The whole point, the whole point of education is exactly. that when we are on the field, there will be what you call battle of ideas. Nobody's right, nobody's wrong. Yes. We are here to teach each other. You have and a let... point of view, I've got a point of view, and other people have their own point of view. The only thing that we must ensure at all times is respect that person. Mm. Don't come with words that are unsavory as if you could so enjoy it. A guy. That's the thing I did. Hey. That I lose. I'm like, okay. Anyways, guys, let's go back to <laughs> this. <Okay. laughs> we are honestly diverting. As long as no one is joining, we are here to <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we, and then, we, yeah, that's true. But anyways, um, what was your thought about Butelezi? Guys, I want to hear what were your thoughts. And then the other thing that the judge said as well yesterday, I don't, I didn't understand that. I really didn't. I didn't understand that. Yeah. I go, go. So so. Hey. How are you, so so? I am good, thank you, and yourself. Very well, thank Be you good. for joining. <laughs> What's on your mind, so so? We've been waiting for you, Zozo. <laughs> I am right here. I am right here. Let me just let me open my camera. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> 
I saw some but I like it. Oh, so you I guys like it. have gaps. <laughs> like, the gaps as well. Like, the it's the gaps and the tassels. <laughs> Yeah, so you see, are you half there? Ah, guys, <laughs> I, I, I am in you. I am in UK, and it's super hot. It's like it is. Crazy. That's why I'm in the garden, love. Can't you see me? Oh, you're <gasps> in the UK, Candy. Yes, yeah. I am. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Today is 33, 33 or 32. <laughs> wow, that's mm. hot. It's a hottest oh. day. <laughs> Who's hot? Oh, no, the no. day or Tandy or Zozi? No, no, no. Zozo. The day. It's hot. Uh, it's, it's now fall. Sooner or later it's going to be snow, so you'll be fine. No, we're enjoying this one. I think a few days we're going to have hotness and then next week go back to cold. Uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Favorite. Yeah. Yeah, same here. I like the yeah. cold weather. <laughs> okay, right. that's it. You come this yeah. side and then I go back home. Yeah. Okay, Zozo, what's on your mind regarding this matter on the table? Yeah, I'm following you all the way. I'm like, I'm not leaving. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate it. I appreciate it so much. Yeah, no, I was asking about your thoughts about Butelezi. What was your thoughts about Butelezi in the beginning? Because I'm saying that he, in the beginning, he was lying. I think, I think Butelezi, I think Butelezi was, um, was not telling the truth at the first time. Yeah. What? Why is yeah. it's repeating myself? I don't know why. We can see you, so don't worry no, about we, it. No, we can't hear the, the echo. Okay, so I'm saying, um, Butelezi, I think Butelezi was so scared the first time, and he didn't know exactly how to say what uh, Antanzi told him. Mm. Because to be, to be honest, everyone that was listening, I was like, how come the police would even go out of the way and looking for Butelezi in the city so that you can be able to see Antanzi uh, it didn't make sense at all. And then I was like, this guy, he didn't know what to say because all these policemen were standing right next to the car, right at the door. How is he going to be able to say exactly what happened when they are standing right. here? No right. ways. Yeah. And then also when you're looking at the principle of confession, shouldn't the confession not be under duress? Because maybe they were trapping him because I know from the lawyers that I've been talking to, entrapment in South Africa is against the law. It's inadmissible in court. So clearly really? they were entrapping, they were trapping, uh, what's his name, uh, Danzi, into saying something incriminating to, um, to Butelez. But Danzi said, Fati, you see? Oh, yeah, 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 you see? yeah, yeah. But, but I remember for me, that. For me, yeah, you're absolutely right, Zozo, that he was afraid and he even admitted that he has an issue with authoritative figures you know yes. police are scary yeah. to him i know a lot of people that are that are uncomfortable around uh authoritative figures it could be a mm -hmm. father it could be a school principal it could be anybody that holds a position of some sort it might not necessarily be police or judges or anything now can you imagine him being in a high court there's a judge mm -hmm. just on his left of course, the fear will be at a very, very high level. The only time I believe where he changed his mind was when Ramosipile asked him a human mm. question. Mm. That's when he realized that, no, man, um, ganwa milona. he's even mm. happy to see me. And that's when the story changed. Yes. And did you the hear story. the whole court? It's like, wow. Yeah, exactly. Like, boom, even <laughs> Ramosipile was like, bombshell. You just dropped a bombshell. Mm. <laughs> So I understood that because humans, we are built differently when it comes to authority. I don't like authority myself. Yes, nobody likes authority. I happen to be a person also who's assertive <laughs> around authority to make sure that mm. they do not abuse their power around me. Mm. You know? Mm. So that, that's what I picked up from Butte. Yes, but and thought... if, if you remember when um when Mshololo asked, were you forced? Were, were you forced? There was any 
platform of post that was used for you to write that statement? Mm. And then he answered as like, Yayazi, we follow I'm a, we, e, 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 what the police said to you. We just follow what. And I was like, that's true. I mean, it's happening. We know it. It happened yeah. all the time that whatever the police said you you, you must do, you do it because we're you like, do I, I don't want to go to jail. Yeah. And what I'm saying. He's been there before. And so yes. he knows yes. That was my other point as well, that he's been in jail before and then he yeah. knows how these police work. And if he's not going to comply with what they are saying, yeah. he might actually find himself in trouble. So mm. he will do as they tell him to mm. do because they're already at a disadvantageous position about his fear for authority. So yeah. That, to me, that was that was huge for me. That so was like, huge. No fan. But, yeah, but, then like, so, yeah, but it's making noise. <laughs> But then, like, for, for Zoom, for Zoom to lie, probably like the state promised him something that you're gonna go up the rank. So oh. for me, I believe that's what happened. Yeah, that's and what I like, you know, um, to lose. I was listening to to this one, uh, the police guy, Uzungu. Yeah, I'm not kidding. Even, I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. Oh. That he is lying. Yeah, he's saying. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, sorry. He's saying oh, he, he was, was sitting right where now. he could see yeah. <laughs> the room. Yeah. But at the end of the night, he couldn't he couldn't find the khakis. What? <laughs> <laughs> and he denied that he was drunk. He yeah. He was drunk. You should have just said, oh, guys, I was drunk actually. <laughs> But then, like, once, once that one the, the, so of laws, you break so much laws. That one, yes, like that's that's what's gonna happen to him if the state fails on this case. Yeah, they're gonna concentrate on him. Like, hey, yeah. yeah, Kumbura ten wena, yeah, Kumbura ten was that wena. Yeah, they'll be waiting after witnessing. But they'll can they do that though? Can they do that? No, but then, like, now it's. It's, it's what like they're focusing on one case at a time. Mm. Everyone that's incriminating themselves is noted, it's on record. Okay, wow. When it when they're yeah, going on, to argue, when they're starting arguing, yeah, yeah, no, no, after the argument, mm. they're gonna be dealing with them like, okay, you said this, you said that. So, but then my now. Question, my question my question is how fair would that be because number one you were subpoenaed to the court and whatever i said i'm telling the court it's not part of your investigation why now are you coming for me because i implicated myself it understand i don't know what the law around that i think yeah, but then I... court because like, yeah perjury in... yes perjury i can understand that because yes. you are under oath you're under oath but now for me, it's like outside, exactly. outside of the court process, why will my superiors come after me because of what I said? Oh, okay. It's on record, though. Right. It's on record. And uh, you take a, an oath that, like, I'm going to tell nothing but the truth, and then everything is recorded. Yeah. yeah. So, which means, like, we can't trust you anymore. Yeah. Even us as your superior, like we can't trust you anymore. Yeah. Now tell me, guys, any other witness that Balo is going to bring? What is your attitude? Uh, they're they are trained. They're yeah, trained. Yeah. As much as we have, yeah, they're trained. Script, as much as we have, them. as much as we have, like hundred witnesses. So, what is this section 35 is saying? Are they not allowed to add to ask the question that is going to incriminate them? No. <laughs> Remember, this, no. this trial this trial is focusing on the, the, the nullified trial. This court doesn't know about anything about this uh, 75. And they but can't bring the point. I, I'm not happy with it because I would love people when they said hearsay, say, hearsay. say. I, lo I love to hear hearsay. say. Because that's an incrimination. You can incriminate yourself the most of the time. 
but and it, it wastes the cost, it wastes the court's time though in my opinion mm. because it's not going to be admissible right now i still believe that uzungu is a hearsay he's speaking on he was not at the crime scene he was yeah. not present when senzo Mayor was killed anything yes. that he says it's going yes, to be something that he heard somebody tell him, and now it's hearsay. And then, but but no, it's are you not allowed to do that? Yeah. And then I'm glad that it was dismissed yesterday. It was this, this because we've been running on hearsay throughout this week until I think I'm sure Lord, Lord, like, I know, no, no, we agreed on that, not now. <laughs> but that's why we have Zoom understand, understand. He's on hearsay. And then I'm glad also the judge on Thursday, he distanced himself from any uh, hearsay evidence that's going to be submitted. He's not going to entertain it. And yet, Zungu is still on the stand. But that Zungu, Zungu. Mm. Yeah, that Zungu is also working on my nerves. Uh, <laughs> you know, when you were starting singing, and I said, oh, 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 my dear. I was stressed that day. I was really yeah. And no, I that Zoom, I, you know what? I, sometimes I, I, I don't take really, really no um a focus when they are doing their testimony to the to whatever. What do you call it, Clintus? Clintus? <laughs> <laughs> when they're speaking with Maloy, I don't really listen to them because oh, I know that cheap. it's a cover up. But that no, no, Zoom no. one was interesting because I was like, oh, <laughs> look at that information. So these guys are in, but. But back in my mind, I know these guys, they don't know about this crime. Right. Even if they yeah. are criminals or whatever they are, but I, I'm, I'm still taking them out. I'm still putting them on the side until the thing, they will yeah. read the mastermind the if master, they say it was a hit. I mean, I asked the one Gininda. His name keeps keep popping. I think Gininda mastermind. I think so too. It's from, from the time... Because Ooh, he's the name? one who's doing From the second. time, from Togo's testimony, this Ginita person I heard for the first time, why is he not understand? I want to know. You know, it's quite funny though. <laughs> no, guys, I appreciate you coming through. I uh, that, that was, it was great discussion. I highly appreciate you guys saving me because I keep sending the link. <laughs> yeah, I see but that. No, I I understand with, uh, with each week we are live, the more and more people feel comfortable to come. And I'm glad that you guys came through. And so, so where are you in UK? Sorry. I oh. am in Buckinghamshire. In Elsbury. Yeah. Swindon. No, I'm in the um, southeast of London in Buckinghamshire. Oh, yeah. It's just yeah. about one hour to London from here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Isn't that expensive. <laughs> oh, you're not far. <laughs> yeah, but I live in uh, Swindon. My house is in Swindon. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Now we're yeah, gonna chat. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> thank, you, yes, yes. <laughs> thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you all. And let me get back to the live chats. Okay. You <laughs> thank you, guys. I highly appreciate it. I highly all appreciate right. it. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Okay, guys, sorry about that. Let's get back to the chat. I didn't forget about y'all. I did not forget about y'all. If you want to come on, the link is up. We can chat other stuff as well. This is the clan. And if we are live streaming, we will diverge or digress <laughs> now and again. It's all cool. We are members of the clan and we don't mind. Right? <laughs> we don't mind. Let's go back to the live chat. The live chat is Tandy. Was talking to um, Tikoliza. Thanks. I think when he finish witnessing, will will be arrested as he comes out from the door. <laughs> let's well, let's see. <laughs> Sibanda, hello, good people. How are you doing, Sibanda? It's good to see you. Tikoliza, oh, load shedding on my side. See, I'm so sorry. I saw even with Brian. He got load shedding right in our presence. <laughs> <laughs> I just came out of load shedding, by the way. Nicholas is laughing. Uh, Tad is laughing. Cynthia, my message went in before editing. Sorry for that. Uh, Frisic, oh my God, thank you. Sorry, sorry. Frisic says, I wonder if he's going to bring the original Gininda, the Chaba. They played him even wonder what is the promise for this, um, this 
Cup. I hope so. I wonder. I also wonder. Portia, good afternoon, Chief Clancers. <laughs> Thank you. And the house at large, how are you doing? PLS, PLKSK. Can you call yourself by your name, sir, please? <laughs> Who are you running away from? KGB? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, Zugo went home. Yeah, he went home uh, to go fetch goodness knows what. <laughs> ah, ew, he is dead, guys. That guy is probably dead now. Well, he was sent to with an army of police, so he's well guarded. That is if he did go anywhere. Don't think so, though. Slu says Zumo and his nephew are together in the crooked places because why? Uh, you feel comfortable hanging out with Inkabis and even keep your work. Your work gone in the room. His nephew is clearly an illegal gun distributor. Clearly, clearly, seriously. He doesn't have licenses. Why did you ask for the licenses of these guns? He's a police officer. Uh, Pategile says, Clan uh, Amos uh, Zungu is selling tomatoes. And the judge really feels he needs security for what? For lying? I'm also concerned about the safety though, honestly speaking. Kumoto talking to PL. No, he's going with state protection, so he will be safe. Uh, Yolisa says, when can you, uh, you show us the clips where accused number five was allegedly threatening the witness Umlungu in court as, uh, as the judge said, he saw him at some point during uh, doing facial expressions towards the witnesses. They, they didn't show us. They didn't show us the clip. It was played in court. Remember, they're not supposed to show us what, what is going on in court. We can only see images of the judge, the accused, and the defense and the gallery. Anything else, we are not allowed to see, unfortunately. Pesagila says, Rata, ta, ta. <laughs> What? <laughs> I think the clan members need to be put in a naughty corner. <laughs> Ah, ra -ta 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 stop giving witnesses amaz. Yeah, he's leading them. Because Wednesday was very angry for defense. Uba Kaloko Agafuni Ukukitwa. Bing Lakaza. What if oh, people? I'm working on my Zulu now. I have to work on my Kosa as well. <laughs> Butelezi. Uh, even Nyana Waike was uh, not feeling well, Vaseline. <laughs> and Vaseline. Advocate Baloy was very angry at some point. <laughs> you can also say it's, it's because they are dodgy and lying. Yeah. Uh, you need to say sorry, Uzungu. Brian, uh, the state are lying. Excuse uh, the pun. <laughs> the state is dying. <laughs> The state is dying. Excuse the pardon to arrest these guys. Our patient says, Ute ama notes. Ah, okay. As a case, and then Kwatiwa, Walande, Washesha, Wati, my lord, Angina, man. That part made me laugh as well. What I like. <laughs> Our state taxes are protecting you. Of course, if you want to go home to fetch something, you just look at them and say, guys, you are the judge. <laughs> That's it. Don't change their mind because what you're trying to say is they don't exist in Gizet and Gyoben Gyoben Zani. Ekabago uzo ni kwa imali ayo puza Guys, I'm doing a live. I'm going to be laughing. <laughs> well, maybe we're going to do this. Because it's been a long time he hasn't flown. <laughs> Who knows? Uh, BLK says, Judge said, Zungu must go home instead of asking if Zungu had digit, uh, digital copies. Or even Zungu get, or, or can Zungu get the dogs without self-sacrificing himself? Judge is like, nah, go home. If Zumu dies, judge did it. <laughs> what if they told you never mind? Let me leave it alone. Let me leave it. <laughs> Cynthia, sorry, I'm late. Hello. Oh, hi, Cynthia. How are you doing? 
the uh, yeah, and you quite late. <laughs> but no, we are happy to have you nonetheless. Very happy. Punya as well say hi clan fam. I'm late. Hello, how are you doing? It's good to see you. Come see you. Mr. Tumaguta, the answer is simple. The reason is that Baloi witnesses are not credible. The sad thing is that some of his witnesses are irrelevant. The Sangoma landlord girlfriend and Telezi. Yeah. All these listeners you just mentioned, what was their whole point of having them understand wasting taxpayers' money? Honestly. B2 says, hello all. I'm late. Hi, B2. It's good to see you. Radio Gogo. Uh, Radio Gogo, I'm late, family. I blame all of you. Hope you are. <laughs> oh my gosh. Kubuto says, I kill number five. He's always looking up. Yeah, I want to know what's up there. Is, is, is there some kind of mosaics that are going on up there? You know, like um, Michelangelo's, uh, what you call that, Basilica that he drew? Or, yeah, that. Is that what's going on in that courtroom? Whoever goes in that courtroom, please tell us what's happening up there because number five is always looking up there. Muriaki <laughs> Mukwena uh, says, we don't believe the witnesses because the case has been cooked by the police and we know how corrupt they are. If it was not the case, it would be watertight, not with so many loopholes. I agree with you, Mukwena, 100% on that one. If you have a case, make sure it's watertight. Right now, we are sitting at a case that even the, the witnesses, the police, had made submissions that the crime scene was screwed up. Why are we still having this uh, trial? Why? Why are we wasting our money? Just to remind you, the state is not just paying... Uber, uh, Uber, what do you call it? Sorry, I'm, my tears are falling because I'm, laugh I'm laughing a lot. The state is not just paying Baloi. The state is paying Baloi and his team. The state is paying Shololo, is paying Nisi, is paying Mumalo and Ramosipi. So many people are on the state's uh, coffers for this trial. I don't understand why it keeps going on when clearly the state no longer has a case. Clearly. P uh, PL says uh, those guys were dancing to... Oh, <laughs> ah, come on. Okay, we're back. Yolisa says, What if NPA can change prosecutors in this case? I don't think at this point they can. It's way too in. Way. I think they can give uh, give him a panel of advisors as to how he can drive or redirect the case. I'm not quite sure because the Titanic has already hit a couple of icebergs. So I don't know. It's ready to break into half. Pika says, men dancing together in Zanz. What's wrong with that? If men dance together, what's wrong with that? <laughs> Nagba accused number one to five at the end, they get sentenced. Panty whatever Mayor family to me didn't get the justice. I don't think they ever will, unfortunately. From where I sit, I don't think that is going to be a possibility at all. That is why I think the state is fighting so hard, possibly with a judge. It's like, hey, y'all better come with some miraculous witness that is going to pin this five. So that we can have peace and move on and give the Mayor family some justice. I don't think so. And I think the Mayor family themselves don't believe that the five people that are in the dock are the people that killed Senzo Mayor. I don't think so too. And I will keep saying it. I will keep saying it. Six people were with Senzo Mayor on the 26th of October 2014. They are the ones who are supposed to answer who killed Senzo Mayor. And one of them is the trigger puller. Who is that? I have I've said it before. I've said it before. He came while everybody was sitting. He didn't greet. He looked angry. And I think he came there to fight his girlfriend because his girlfriend slept over at Senzo Mayo with an not that he slept with a man, but possibly he was thinking that maybe she did. You know, I'm not saying it happened because 
if you ask a question, and then I think it was uh, Tumelo who described the houses I asked in, in one of the videos, how big is that house in Marbleton? And then Tumelo says it's two bedrooms. And then uh, I don't know who slept where, because of course, Kelly Kumale and Sentomir will occupy the main bedroom. The other bedroom, who was sleeping there, you see? So I don't know. But apparently came there angry, and uh, his father's gun got lost in the process. In the house, how do your gun get lost in the house when your house was never broken into? You know? They say they needed, uh, they, they indeed need a specialist to determine the date of the ink. Yeah, there's, there's science behind that. There is science behind that. Get it, Dalebon. Uh, see, apparently he says, hello, clan. They uh, they are going uh, to be busy writing and writing today. Yeah, papers are flying all over the show, tripping over each other, trying to make sure that on Monday there is some pieces of paper that are going to be given to the judge. Modiari says, uh, the judge gets too excited. His experiences with presiding over court cases makes him think he can never be wrong. From what I hear, judges, they uh, they can get away with a lot, from what I hear. They can get away with a lot. But one thing they cannot do is be biased and overreaching, because at this point, I think it's overreaching. There was another person that made some perfect sense to me when he was describing why possibly the judge is behaving in the manner in which he is. And he gave me, um, what he called this, it reminded me of Jovu. Uh, uh, I don't know which other police officer that passed away. And so knowing that, possibly that is why he is behaving the way he's behaving, because he wants to save his own life as well. I don't know. To me, it sounded plausible. It made perfect sense. Maybe that's why he wants to show whoever the power that be that, look, 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 I'm doing my job. Don't come and kill me. I am actually favoring the state over the defense. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. So that, that it's, it's plausible. It's plausible. You know, that all of this is just an act on his side. Uh, PL says, I didn't abandon y'all. Got some surprises coming. Ooh, I love surprises. <laughs> Can I be the first to get the surprise? <laughs> oh, PL. Polokwan SKAKA Punchline King. Okay. All right. <laughs> Too many SKs. So. Had to uh, represent my city. Polupane is lucky to have you. <laughs> uh, Tikaleza Haita DPL says 70 watching, 32 likes. Aibo, Aibo. <laughs> I'm saying the same thing too. Uh, PL says I need a friend named Guabani, guys. <laughs> We're not PLK. You are a party animal, I have figured out. <laughs> and that's a good thing, by the way. Please have fun on our behalf as well. <laughs> I swear, that name just has me drawn back to his, to, his, to this trial. We thought Mandela was a small joke from rats. Watch Judge Stammen pour Mandela to the stand as a witness. Correctly, Mandela. Yes, I'm reading correctly. <laughs> uh, Tenko, hello, family. How are you doing, Tenko? It's good to see you here. Uh, Nico says, Evening, my concern is the judge seemingly he takes side, especially on the prosecution side. Uh, yeah, I'm not, not going to be defending him and making some kind of analogy around him because, yo, I every time I do, he throws me under the bus. <laughs> <laughs> so I I wash my hands because even myself yesterday I was like judge 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 you're not supposed to do that <laughs> but he was doing it you know but anyways Nkulego says what should ha what should happen if say council uh, take deliberate steps to obstruct justice that will be in contempt of court if they're doing it inside the court justice supersedes. Section 35. No, Section 35 is the Constitution, and therefore the Constitution supersedes any other law. That Section 35 is of the Constitution. And remember, our Constitution is the supreme law of the land. So anything inconsistent with it or is against it is invalid according to the Constitution. 
But I understand your point. <laughs> I think they need to follow what the constitution say in order for them to make a ruling that is in line with the constitution. So if they are, like you say, they are obstructing justice, they need to establish how justice is being obstructed uh, using the principles of an open and democratic society that the constitution speaks about. Uh, Tuffle says, judge acting on a mandate. Yeah. And it, this is not this is not something that the public should see and also talk about about a judge because judges are supposed to be seen as people that in fact they're supposed to be seen as lady justice let's put it that way they are justices and one thing that i also picked up from zungu he was calling the judge correctly by calling him justice because he's he is faced with justice in court and yet he's lying before justice i, I don't get that part as well <laughs> my brother can't have a child by Bamyate. Ah, I'm so sorry to hear that. Look, I'm so sorry to hear that. I'm so sorry. PLK says, judge always fixes the witness's statement. I see leading. Yeah, he's leading them. It's like rats wrote, wrote uh, uh, this witness statement himself. <laughs> There's a chance. Because some of that, Isangoma, for example, Isangoma went off the script. <laughs> like... He even said, I get an amber manga. I was like, why? What's the necessity of saying to get amber manga? Were you told amber manga in court or what? Because I was very like, eh, I, okay, okay, okay. Because it is very bad too. But people, why is the judge now defending witnesses? I thought we would stop by now, but he is, get, oh, he will stop by now, but he's getting worse. Anyway, what I released. What I realize is the defense are not afraid of him anymore. Yeah, they're no longer afraid of him. They are standing their ground, and I like that. Punya also says, oh, we are going to see him promoted. Constable getting promoted after testifying 12 years. Sal out Kwamenza and Makuluwa ke kuntanzi kuningi kuningi advocate mnis. We are about to close, guys, very soon. Nombuzo Edith Mashago says, Hi, Clan Zungu is a liar. That one he was looking at the room, but he lost the keys. I <laughs> got you indeed. And then Brian Sound, oh, okay, when he was, uh, when we are live. Uh, Lord Stanley, Mishak Makubo, Makubo, can uh, he be called as, yeah, yeah, I, I, that name definitely. I think that's the same guy who was working with Mutelezi and beat up Mutogo. I would like to hear about that, Kabanzi. PLK says Brian thought he was on your TV. <laughs> Come on, leave Brian alone. <laughs> I'm sure whoever is is laughing his lungs out. <laughs> Cynthia says I suspect that this guy is not a sober police. I don't think so either. I suspect he's a drunkard. Okay, I don't know if he's a drunkard. <laughs> he can be easily bought with meat and alcohol. I don't trust his testimony. Why is the state not respecting us and the Mayuas? Good question. Sia Paris says, Sia Perry says, Baloy thinks he's much wiser than the defense because the judge is always on his side. And his condescending uh, tone towards the defense is unacceptable unprofessional as far as i'm concerned uh nico says we need the car log book and the pocket book for constable zungu yeah 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 it would be interesting to hear where this car went to do they even have like this trackable uh track uh where the car goes to where it's been and things like that we'd like to see that blueprint plk says oh, but the judge thought guys but the judge though guys yeah the judge Hey, Oning. Faith says this witness is safe. For what is the protection for? He's going to KZN to meet up with the G. 
and others to cook up Isipo. Isopo. How's Cape Town? Vaseline is wasting our time, our tax money, the state resources. Yeah, definitely, definitely. They can say, what up, Brian? <laughs> uh, they're going to say, the bank statements are for Ndazi. Uh, I don't think the defense has forgotten about them. Somebody said that's for the state to raise and demand. The, oh, okay, the alibi. Okay, I get it. Uh, PLK says, so, why, so wait, Zungu has no choice but to go along with a bogus witness statement comedy. <laughs> it is reputation. Man, we are far. <laughs> Faye says he's talking about the defense team. Defense, uh, that is from Tigolis. Defense want to build their careers. Yeah, and I think they're doing a great job. This is actually marketing them well. Faye says, you uningi kwasabs. There was an article la makubo waye vale loa ufuna ukumbamba wonke umtu. OSN even about his case, about this case, that time subs were divided two camps allegedly. Wow. I can't believe that. I can't believe that. Nico says uh in SA state car state cars are going to attend Ingoma in Austin. <laughs> but to crack to crack this, we got to see. The time book of what Zumbo left at uh, his Nsebenzi uh, police station uh, driving to Carlton Center. Was he driving an Uber? <laughs> 2014, we had no. I love, I love the club people. You guys are the best. Pierre Cases Friday is on point. Judge has no reputation. He is ch uh, choosing to incriminate, uh, choosing to incriminating so he can be famous after cracking an obvious case okay Nombuso says invite me please oh the the link has been on the screen you could just click on it and then you come through Nombuso. uh but i'm about to close we'll do that next week can i reserve you for that please franklin jensen hi franklin uh good afternoon hand pink waving hello hello franklin it's good to see you here Bintu says Nombuso hit the like a stream yard. Gee, uh, it's an international problem. Hate is ruling the world. Ugh. And it's so unnecessary. As it takes only seven muscles. Seven muscles when you smile, but 72 muscles to frown. That is why some people who are angry, they look so old. It's because they're overusing the facial uh, muscles. It only takes seven to smile. That's it. That's why some people look young when, in fact, they are old. PL, PLK says Kelly Kumalo rates uh, stats from 35,000 rand for indoor events. Ooh, wow. I'm in the wrong career, Moss. Radio Gogo says we can't afford to be serious at all times. We need to love. Yes, I agree. I agree, Mina. I'm a big fan of laughing. I got sick, I laughed, and then I got healed. All from laughing. Laughter is the best medicine. That is what I was brought up on. I think just a high school, you know, just a primary and two high school thing that was always said to us. And they said you must laugh more rather than, yeah, and all of that. You will always stay healthy. PLK says, Where's Tandy M at UK as well? She's in Sussex. The rest of SA is burning in this random heat wave. She looks way too cool. <laughs> just relax. I love the background and the yard and all of that. And just relax and having a time of her life while participating in this amazing live chat with you people. I love y'all. I do. I do. I do. Now, now, when I'm a business, who don't believe who's a lady, who just is a country, who just is a I mean, I love you. Can can. I've said it and I'll say it again. <laughs> you have a problem. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> says, uh, it does uh Tando, the little chance I have, I go and watch YouTube videos, etc. The clan siblings, Mzanzi, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Mzanzi reality. Oh, I love everybody. I love all the people that you've mentioned, uh, the exception of myself. 
I love those are like quality YouTube channels. I'm telling you, they are the the best. PLK says to be a complete clent uh, clentist. <laughs> oh, maybe you got my okay. <laughs> I see. You need white hair at birth, a gap, and what else? Oh, two IQs. You forgot two IQs. You need to also have two IQs. <laughs> Because you need to rub them together. Trust me, the two IQs never underestimate them. <laughs> PLK says Zuku can't be sober. Uh, Talha, uh, Tihala, Tihala, right? Zuku is accused number seven. <laughs> oh, now he's arrested. <laughs> PLK says so they are all cops, the witnesses and the accused. That is so messed up. Yeah, all of them in one room. What is it doing with thugs? Faith, yes, he is the one who opened the uh, 375 dock. G and them wanted to take uh, Makubo down. Oh, that's Makubo, right? Then got arrested and the court didn't see any sufficient evidence. Oh, because he was pursuing the truth. Is he safe? Is he even alive? My goodness, what about his safety? Yeah, what about his safety? The state is now worried about Inkabi police, who's Inkabi saying, Inkabi saying, a hostel. <laughs> my, my voice box has a whistle. <laughs> Natural view. Hey, yeah, what you do? I love how collaborative this life is. I loved it as well. That was beautiful. I loved it. Komoto, uh, the whole court agreed. <laughs> and then we have Titi Tobani attorneys. This is the right time that um, Nisi, KK, and company be arrested. Uh, okay, I got the Nisi wrong. <laughs> you need to be arrested and brought into this trial. State must smell the coffee. Indeed, the state is seriously wasting our money. It's for real now. Uh, PLK says Brian got hit by no shedding lol. <laughs> PLK so is a dumpster fire. Beckinghamshire. <laughs> oh, okay. So my, what did I press? <laughs> oh, I. I'm learning, people. I'm learning. This happened by accident. <laughs> but before we get to PLK's uh, highlighted uh, comments, let's go to Punez. Oh, okay. I made a mistake, and this is what happened. Spot on, Glenn. He might jeopardize the case. I am so worried about that aspect. We know they are in garbage. However, please, Advocate Mshololo must talk to him. Advocate Mnisi's experience is seriously good. Yeah, I agree. And then we come back to this. This one. No shading at 6 p.m. No, guys. Justice for Brian. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the when are they arresting KK and the crew? Maybe after three after six three six is done, or it will be based on the outcome of three of six three six. You see, yin yang people don't do me with yin yangs because I my mind stops. Please explain to me, guys. I, I, that one, it does need, it really does need. Um, there's a laughter from um, Faith and then uh, Ria, Ria Lebuha. Hi, the clan fam. Hi, Ria. How are you doing? Good to see you here. Thank you so much for joining. Uh, Faith asking myself the same question. Uh, and then we have Mandungwa. Part of me believes Zungu, what if he was? unintentionally involved and he is only speaking now to cover his maybe but he's incriminating himself if he's trying to cover himself he's done so much damage to his own name and reputation at this point <laughs> so section 35 no longer plays a role as far as i'm concerned I, I, yeah but of course the defense has to respect it uh, but then it doesn't create a good impressions to the court's mind as well. When you are going to plea the 35th, you must just know that chances are they might rule against you. 
Because what are you hiding? That's the question. For you to say, Constable Zungu's safety is important. I agree. Could they have not sent the investigators to get the document? Did he not hand did not hand write under oath and then got it typed? That's the question I'm also asking. Hey, why pieces of papers? Because there's no. Okay, I don't know. Accused number three was right to instruct advocate Nisi. Yeah, indeed, I agree. I agree. Uh, Sonto Kumeta says, mastermind, they want to pin Mandisa. You know, even with that, that one, uh, Sonto, don't entertain it. That one is coming from shallow minds. People, I believe, I don't know if you saw my video where I was talking about uh, paid people to say things to divert or digress the attention away from the state's failure. So don't pay attention to those ones. I do also see them trying me now and I'm, they're wasting their time. All I do is hide them from the channel and never have to see their comment again. Easy. Uh, so apparently says uh, this case is a mess. Lies, alcohol, guns, crime, and the circus in court. <laughs> I wish I knew how you speak like so that I would have read in your voice. <laughs> oh my goodness. The counselor says, with due respect, Mr. Tubaguta, the evidence of Zungu, uh, Zungu is not hearsay, but it is circumstantial uh, evidence. He is not saying that he heard it from anyone. No, I, I'm, I'm not disputing you, uh, your perspective. But then again, circumstantial evidence in South African criminal court does not count. It needs to be stuck. It needs to be substantial evidence. Circumstantial, that's guesswork. The judge or the court can't work with something that is in the air without any substance. There's got to be substance in that. That is why I'm saying whatever he's going to say is it, from his own perspective about anything he's going to say about Senzo Mayor's death. It's going to be hearsay. And if he cannot produce uh, substance to his allegations, then there's no point of him being understand. That's what I'm trying to say. But I also understand what you are saying. Circumstantial evidence does not play a role in our court if it's not going to be substantiated with facts. Uh, says, sad thing is you can already see how the judge's verdict will be. The accused might be found guilty. Then that's the end of the case. Eeh. Uh, Brie, okay, Faith was laughing or crying, wondering, and sighing, I see. And then Brie, the one says, I expect Zungu to, uh, I expect Zungu is busy writing notes to match up with the typed version. But then he must be careful. He needs to be careful. So that, because I think um, Nisi knows how way to get him. He needs to be careful if he's going to cook up these notes. They better be what he said it was in those originals. Uh, Brick continues to say his hand must be aching right now, writing those notes. <laughs> I keep imagining like, just... <laughs> you know, like cartoons when they are running, like... <laughs> Nambuso says that the arrangement of the notes, your high, too much work. Remember, he said he was writing as he meets whoever. He needs to also state the times and where. We need to hear all of that. And they better be the originals for real. Who has fear of authorities, please? Tahir is asking. Um, Buterezi, the guy that took the stand, uh, that's the guy we're talking about. Because he even said it himself. And so he didn't say it the way I'm saying it, but that's what there was. Speaking along those lines about fear, fearful of authorities doing as the authorities tell you because they are police, possibly they know better or something like that. Tulani says, I think so as well. I don't trust Zulu and Baloi Naarond as well. At this point, Baloi has lost any credibility in my eyes now that he's bringing us useless, um, uh, what do you call this, witnesses and wasting our taxpayer. Pairs money. Tahili says only the judge and Baloi trust Zungu. <laughs> uh, Fesu says no, but Vaseline Oyaba Lela allegedly. Allegedly. 
Uh, we're about to be done, guys. I'm not sure how far down I'll be able to go because I have a lot. <laughs> uh, hey, that again, by a peg, I mind you, is so poor. I know you didn't say that. <laughs> but yes, I say Constable Zungo was told to let sleeping dogs lie. Who is controlling Advocate Baloi? Why does he bring people? that are not on his witness list. So why Judge Rata not in control where Baloi is concerned? Well, good question. Prosper says that Mr. Veselin messed up on this witness. Everything is cooked up. It's been, it's beans being cooked. <laughs> I agree. I agree. Nombuzo says, Imali Izoba Izoba Sorry, coconut. Now I'm dealing with the coconut. If you are new here, did I ever tell you that I'm a coconut? Yeah, I am. PLK says, Ish guys, living for I'll be on a hiatus. I just felt I did. You mean a hiatus? You know what I thought? I thought about those birds that make a lot of noise. Ah, ah. <laughs> oh, guys, you're like crazy with me here. Yeah, okay, so let's keep up the good work, Mr. Uh, what? Atlantis, no, no, thank you so much. Have a safe trip. Bring us some nices wherever you are going to. We like nices. We like nices. <laughs> Please do that. Uh, what's going on? Uh, Vusi Shongwe. Hi, Vusi Shongwe. It's good to see you here. They fired Makubo because he was against corruption. He was defeating hands of justice. or oh, the ends of justice. They victimized him. He must, unfortunately, uh, they will avoid that. You know, I don't understand this thing when an upstanding police officer does due diligence and suddenly that is a bad thing and then they fire them. And then they'll smear them with cases that don't exist. I, I don't get it, honestly. Bonga says Zungu is uh, uh, is in trouble now. Yeah, he is in trouble, definitely. <laughs> uh, he's definitely in trouble. And then uh, Faith says, and Vusi Makubo went through a lot. There is an article about him. Please send it to me. You know where we communicate. Uh, Tulani says, it's true. Zungu is broke. He needs money to buy a bottle of whiskey. <laughs> What's the story say? Says, uh, feel bad for him. I'm sorry. Yeah. Whatever is going on there, it, 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 it's terrible. What's the story says, judge uh, wants to finish the case using Zulu's story. Judge finalized, I uh, can see. You can't push Inkabi like a, uh, like a scrammer without shooting you. Never. Woo. Um... Okay, this thing refreshed. Where am I? Okay, if I skip to you, please forgive me. This thing refreshed. Where am I? Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm sorry if I skipped you. Uh, Lindeni says, Hi, clan. I said before, state must release these guys. <laughs> when they are released, they go back to jail. I think, except for accused number two. All the other ones, they are correctly where they are when they after this case. They must go serve their sentences because we're not going to support killers on this channel at all. <laughs> but no, I get what you're saying, Lindani. I do get you because it shows that the state doesn't want a mastermind and killers who kill Senzo to be arrested. I agree. I agree. Uh, Joyce, Clantus, you just shocked me. You know about Michelangelo's ceiling painting of the Sistine Chapel. My goodness gracious me. I happen to be the lover of art as well as history. And then my biggest dream is to go to um, the Vatican and see that painting of Michelangelo at the Sistine Chapel. Of course, yes. Please. I love that. <laughs> Good surprise, eh? <laughs> um, 
Punyazo says, uh, Titi Tobani, it seems as if African Baloy still wants to surprise Mzanti with witnesses not on the list. So who controls this uh, calling of witnesses? He does, actually. He does. Oh, this thing keeps... Ugh, where am I? Guys, I don't know. It's almost two hours. If I skipped your... Uh, what do you call this? Your... Your comment, forgive me. Absolutely forgive me. Let me just close now and say, guys, goodbye. I Okay, let's see. I see. Okay, it stopped here. It stopped with Gapsi. They're saying, Zulu must just say he can't, he couldn't find the notes instead of rewriting them. That means then uh, Nisi, Mumalo, and Shololo will not be able to cross-examine him. I think this, they can still, uh, especially with all these incriminating uh, stuff that he submitted, Let's see, let him incriminate himself even deeper. Let them fry him. That's all I'm saying. Fry him. You know, he will end up telling the truth. I think he's the weakest link. Nico says, give Zungu, be given a Jameson to remember where he puts where he put his notes. <laughs> you guys are adamant that he drinks. <laughs> Ntokolozi. Uh, is not a police uh, eliwa uh, corruption ashala nezi kebengu izi chela as chela uma uza ama poisa ah I know this word is easy, but let's keep going. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Uh, this is the last comment from um, Wimby. The past week left me drained. Whew. Baloy is bad news. He successfully drove all of us nuts with his shenanigans. The judge is something else too. You are right. I, I agree with you. He really did drain us all. Guys, thank you all so much for being here today. We are going on one hour, 51 minutes. I want to say... Thank you all for participating. I want to thank Brian. I want to thank Tandy. And I want to thank Zozo for coming through. You guys made me very happy for coming into the live today. Can we do this every week? I'll just put the link on and then you just click on it and then come and just have a conversation. Let's laugh if there's something to laugh about. Because clearly, uh, Baloy is um, there's a circus in town and it's quite funny with the characters that he's bringing on stage. So why not love? Why not love, <laughs> right? But anyways, guys, thank you all. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, I love y'all, all of you. Even the ones that don't like me, I love you too, all right? Love you. And I will see you again, guys, next week, Saturday. And during the week, we'll see each other in the comment section. Oh, by the way, my comment sections these days are giving me trouble. If I don't, you don't see a response from me, just know that I keep pressing or I'm trying to write and nothing is happening, please forgive me. Please forgive me. Uh, I usually like engaging with you guys in the comments. But we'll see each other there if it allows this week. I think the device I'm also using, the, what do you call this, the screen, is no longer, I need to get a new device, honestly. I think that, let me make, stop making excuses. Let me get a new device. Anyways, guys, adios, much love. Thank you all for being here. Tandy, love you too. Cynthia, bye to yourself as well. And Sia Pahi, thank you so much. Goodbye. Goodbye, guys. Much love. Goodbye. 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 I always forget to click.